Ooh. Well, so <clears throat> poem marketing isn't my first business. Um, I've done a couple other ones to mostly just try and follow the rules of if I'm accepting money, I need to make sure I have a business and to make things more official. Um, I've been freelancing for a number of years before I really started home and marketing. Um, and so I was always under that those threshold marks for how much money you're allowed to have before making a business. Um, and so part of it was my online marketing had outgrown my WCU work and my lawn care work because I ran a lawn care company before as well. And it was it was kind of getting that momentum and time to do it. Well, so, like I said, I've been, I got started through freelancing. Um, I've been freelancing since I was about 16, 18, um, and did it for a number of years, and even though I worked a full-time job at WSU, I was always freelancing just all the time. Um, and it was mostly just people with requests of, hey, how do I fix this on my website, or oh, hey, something broke, or oh, hey, do you know someone who makes websites? Um, and so I was usually kind of like that guy. <laughs> it's been it's been interesting. It's been really interesting because I I had a lot of friends that moved to the West Side immediately after graduation, and it's it's a different pace of life to live in a place like Pullman, um, where. We have our community, we have a community of businesses, and if people are going to visit those businesses, they're gonna visit them. Um, so there's kind of your captive audience that you don't always have to really market to, um, but then really trying to bring next level uh, marketing assistance. Uh, we're the only marketing company in Pullman currently, um, and so we, we saw that opening, um, and it's been busy. It's been a great experience to do a lot of education um, where people may have been burned by a uh, college student uh, web designer who graduated and left or um, people who aren't necessarily always exposed to that. Uh, we get to talk in the high schools, we get to uh, do seminars with other economic development agencies. Um, it's really just a lot of fun and I like the aspect of educating people. Um, I've always really enjoyed speaking and really feeling a part of the community through that process. If you've ever seen the first Matrix movie, where Neo goes and sees the Oracle, um, her number one thing that she works with Neo is to know thyself. And part of that is, be, owning a business isn't for the faint of heart. Um, you can have glorious days and you can have deeply discouraging days. And if you don't know yourself well enough to know how to deal with those types of circumstances, then I, I don't know that I would recommend it for everyone. Um, and that's not saying I'm some great person, I'm, I'm certainly not. Um, but to go back to the Matrix analogy, he leaves because the Oracle says you are currently not the one. Um, but and with that understanding that you have to grow into that person that you have to become, you have to have that self-actualization process to really become the business leader that you want to be.